In today's video, you are going to analyze Bitcoin using Elliott Wave Analysis in combination of technical analysis. So you're going to uh, use these techniques to find where exactly the price is heading. First of all, if you look at the price pattern, we can see uh, two major bottoms. Uh, one is the way before this one, and the other one bottom that actually starts more recently is right over here to, from 2018 December. And from 2018 December, I have decided to make the counts. Uh, it's a clear um, bottom and a higher bottom, so we can probably create uh, consider this as wave four of a higher degree. Uh, or we have uh, two of a higher degree either case we can see there is a correction and from this bottom we can consider the wave count uh, since the initial price action have been quite complex and um, so the reason here is that we can consider this uh, as simple wave one and wave two and wave three and now this seems pretty great uh, the wave uh, nature st uh, seems very uh, close to wave three as well we can see that we have seen wave one and wave three is uh, as strong as the uh, theoretical analysis says that normally wave trees are quite stronger as compared to uh, wave one and wave five and that's what exactly we have seen now here the ne next comes the tricky part there are a couple of possibilities first of all that uh, when prices came back there we can consider it as a double zigzag right over here single zigzag and a correction and a double zigzag with with the truncation or we can consider that the double zigzag completed right over here in that case if wave 4 is completed right over here this is wave 5 that will be the combination uh, that will be the end of the five uh, wave structure starting from right over here so wave 1 and wave 2 and wave 3 and wave 4 and wave 5 this is going to be the main count that I'm going to be using uh, the other alternating count is that we are probably have not completed the correction right over here instead the correction is going to be completed uh, somewhere right over here we can consider this pattern as wave A of a flat correction wave B of a flat correction and wave C of a flat correction so both things are possible and uh, we're going to use the the main count and the alternating count to discuss and now we'll keep this in mind that this can either be A, B or C or we, this can be wave 3, uh, 4 basically and wave 5. In that case this will be wave 1 of a, of a new trend downward. Both cases, uh, the fun thing is both cases uh, present that this is going to be a 5 wave structure and we are going to look at it. Uh, the, uh, the only thing is that if this is a 5 wave structure of a new trend downward in that case when we get the correction even though uh, we can say that wave 2 can be deeper uh, because how that's how we have seen that wave 2 are always deeper in correction in, uh, as far as the percentage of the, the previous impulse wave is concerned but in that case we are not expecting a new high and if this is actually wave A, B and C wave 4 completing right over here in that case we are expecting a new high so price structure is going to be pretty same till actually actually goes up and then comes down and breaks this point right over here. So 28,000, 30,000 is an important point till price actually breaks that. Uh, we are going to assume that a couple of things are going to happen. We are assuming that price is going to make this UV shape either cases. Whether it's going to be a new uh, trend or it's going to be the uh, new trend downward or whether it's going to be wave 5 upward. On a smaller time frame though we are interested in seeing where exactly have you seen the bottom already I'm assuming that we have uh, I've used Elliott wave analysis to consider that I'm considering that there is a possibility and uh, that we have one more push uh, downwards left and the reason for that assumption here is or for that analysis is that I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and this is A, a B and C a flat correction as wave 2 and as you guys can see a stronger wave 3 and we have as a, a b and c wave 4 and then we have wave 5 as an extended wave so we have completed wave 1 and wave 2 and then we have even subdivided wave uh, 3 this is even subdivided and right now we have completed wave 4 of this particular degree and after that we are heading downward in that case our target for wave 5 is going to be thirty one thousand dollars another important point is that could there be possibility that we are wrong in our labeling in that case the prices should easily be able to uh, come out of this support that we are seeing that this one just connecting three points at least one two right over here and third right over here in that case if price goes beyond that that will be indication that we probably have already created a bottom right over here but for now at least on a four hourly time frame we can see uh, that we have seen wave A, a wave B and wave C 
in that case there is a possibility that we might not see a higher high uh, as compared to this one uh, or you can consider it as wave A, B and C and correction and other zigzag both things are possible we are getting close to the support line and this should indicate that we are uh, soon heading downward and 31,000 is the target however if prices as I said are able to cross that and most importantly cross 43,000 in that case uh, will be indication that prices are heading uh, upward we have uh, the percentage tool uh, which has uh, drawn from the bottom at from zero starting from zero all the way to top right over here uh, we can see the previous correction that came around here is almost miss 62.5 in that case and right now you're around 50 percent so this is very important uh, giving an indication there the possibility that prices actually are going to go low a little uh, and then when it goes up 50% itself is an important support. That's the point I wanted to uh, I wanted to mention. Let me see if I can uh, bring this to right over here. Let's say the wave is three nine ended right over here too. In that case, in that case we can use we can still see that the price is still above 50% uh, and then still around 50%. It does not actually create much difference. So next few days are going to be very interesting. As I said, on a smaller time frame, it looks like we are heading downward and to touch 31,000. And after that, we are expected to go upward. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one. And see you guys back again on my YouTube channel. Have a good one and bye-bye.